Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general love reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of your September from the 16th to the 30th. We are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you regarding love and the person that, did, uh, that you're connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And um, then we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome and advice are. So before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you, uh, so that you guys get notified on when new videos post onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Pisces, let's get, let's get started. Over energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Over energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. Okay, we have the Four of Swords here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. So you might be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo. You might have this in your chart. We have the Nine of Swords here. We have the Queen of Wands. Um, so Pisces, someone could be stressing you out because I feel like we have someone that's trying to manipulate. I really feel like you're trying to disconnect from this. I really try. I feel like you're trying to trust your intuition on this person here. Uh, you could be dealing with the fire sign here with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You might have this in your chart too. Um, so we have the Eight of Cups here. And we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So we have a pair here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. You might have fire in your chart here, Pisces. So you could feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. The rules could be flipped or reverse. Either you're this queen or this king. I mean, I feel like someone here is walking away. And I feel like someone here is perhaps, perhaps someone here walked away and someone here is waiting for someone to come back. So the person that walked away is this queen. The person that is waiting for someone to come back is this king. I mean, there's some, there's definitely some sort of manipulation going on here because someone here is stressed out. I mean, I feel like someone had, I feel like someone's here, someone's head hurts because of this. So there is some sort of abuse going on here, Pisces. Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Magician in the death card. Scorpio energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio here. You might have Scorpio in your chart. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords and the King of Cups. So Pisces, there you are right there. So I'm feeling like you're stressed out here. So, um, so that's Piscean energy. We have this King of Wands. Like I said, you might have some fire in your chart here. Why is this uh, Queen of Wands here? The nine of wands so this this in the i feel like you're dealing with a very paranoid individual i feel like this person manipulates you so that you stay or something like that i feel like they're testing you like i feel like this person walks away pretending like it's over but in actuality i feel like they want you to chase them or something like that why is this uh, why is this eight of cups here eight of cups and the seven of cups why is this king of wands here? You see, I feel like someone here is testing you. I feel like this person walks away 
pretends like they're searching for other options or trying to be flirty with other people, but I feel like they're trying to make you chase them. This per person is man manipulating you, pretending like things ended here, but in actuality, they, they don't want things to end. They're testing you. Why is this King of Wands here? King of Wands and the High Priestess. So there you are showing up in your read here. I mean, there is this energy of trying to trust your intuition here. Uh, why is this that three of wands here? Or you're pretty well aware of maybe of what's going on. I mean, we have this king here. So perhaps you're trying to, you're waiting for this person to come back. Uh, you might have had a long history with this person. Maybe a past life soulmate. Maybe this is a toxic karmic uh, twin flame connection. I mean, this is a very, very, very strong connection here. I feel like this is like a cat and mouse game. I'm feeling like this is like a cat and mouse game. I feel like someone here is creating this like scenario where, 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 where they're trying to make someone chase them to make sure that they truly, truly, truly want them. So, and Pisces, I feel like you're really stressed out and really confused about the situation. Um, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. swords page of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo three of cups king of cups there you are again pisces right there nine of swords i mean we have someone here that's incredibly stressed out by this person we have the fool aries aquarius energy and then we have the ten of pentacles Whoever you're dealing with here, I feel like this person is not very trust trustworthy. I feel like this person is very deceptive, and I feel like you might be aware of that. I mean, someone here is stressed out. I mean, someone here wants to take a leap here. Someone here wants, you know, commitment here with someone. Someone here wants the end all be all. But there is just like all this chaos going on. I feel like. Pisces, I feel like you're wondering if there is really other people involved, but I just feel like this person that you're dealing with here is just pretending. Uh, why is this page of pentacles here? Why is this page of pentacles here? Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Why is this at Three of Cups here? Three of Cups and the Wheel. So, Pisces, I feel like you're in this energy of, you do want this with this person, but I feel like you're not playing this person's games anymore because I feel like this person is baiting you at the same time. This person tries to manipulate and bait you into doing something to see if you pass the test or something like that. This person's pretending um, to end things and walk away, but in, uh, and they just want to test you to see if they uh, to see if you would chase them. The thing is, I feel like you're not even chasing them. I just feel like you don't want to play. Why is this uh, King of Cups here? King of Cups and the Three of Swords. And so, Pisces, I feel like you're incredibly hurt by this. And you don't want to play. The thing is, I, I, I feel like there aren't even any third parties involved. Or there are no options. This person is just completely pretending here. This person is just eating, uh, sitting at home eating like cotton candy or something like that. I don't know. 
but this person is definitely not out running around town because uh, I feel like this person is very, very, very insecure and um, also paranoid that you don't want them. That's why they're trust. Uh, they're they're testing you. Why is this nine of swords? Nine of swords in the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. I mean, you're, I feel like you're stressed out because this person is not opening up to you about, you know, some secrets here. Why is this Fool card here? Fool card in the Five of Wands. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? In the Two of Swords. I just feel like this is this is changing. Maybe someone someone does not want this anymore. Or that there's gonna be a major shift, major change here, because I just feel like someone here is dropping this. I just feel like someone here is dropping this. So Pisces, I feel like you're trying to decide what to do here because I feel like you don't want to play these childish games anymore. Outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of uh, September from the 16th to the 30th here. Outcome and advice for Pisces. Ace of Cups, the Sun, Leo energy. You might have Leo in your chart, could be dealing with a Leo maybe. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles. Look at these aces here. Nine of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands right there with that Queen of Wands. And the Fool, Aries, Aquarius energy. I mean, there definitely is a lot of conflict here. Feels like someone here is feeling alone. Someone here is feeling disappointed. Maybe someone here is feeling regret also. But I feel like we have someone that might be rushing in for a new beginning here. The thing is, Pisces, I feel like you don't want to play. I feel like you don't want to play. Pisces, you might be out looking for new love. Yeah, I feel like you might be deciding here that you're better off searching for someone new than dealing with someone that plays these um, childish games. Why is this that Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Sun card here? The Sun card and the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. So this is a pair here. Yeah, yeah, because we do have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here. Let's see. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Why is this Nine of Wands here? The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Why is this Fool card here? The Fool card in here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Pisces, you're running off to find new love here. You're gonna look for it somewhere else because you're not getting it here with someone. Yeah, someone here just keeps playing. Yeah, I just feel like you're just gonna avoid disaster because I feel like you're, this is just gonna happen again because I feel like someone here is just gonna play, continue to play these childish games. I feel like you've, I, I feel like you got the answers that you're looking for and I just feel like you're no longer dealing with this person because I feel like you love this person but it feels very lonely because this person is just playing a lot of games. Yeah, you're tired that this is not happening with this person and you're going to look for it somewhere else. So... 
Pisces, I hope this resonated. If it did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down in the comments section below, share this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.